What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm recording this one literally right after I did the clutch video. What we have next is I wanna do the secondary air pump delete. Uh, this is a mod I don't recommend doing unless one, you're either taking out your engine or at least stripping it down to, you know, not having an intake, turbo or up pipe. Um, and two, you're getting a tune. If you ain't getting a tune, don't bother doing these two things. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't do it unless you have the engine out of the car because it's not an easy mod to do. It's, it's really frustrating to get out. Let me kind of run you through of what we're actually deleting. Now it's a little different seeing it out of the car. Um, I know Smeedy actually made a video on this topic and he did a really good video about it. I just found it was a little bit confusing knowing exactly what's getting removed, especially when it came to this pipe. He ended up cutting it out, but I'm just gonna kind of show you exactly what's getting removed. So for the most part, this is the biggest thing that you're gonna be removing. And this will just clear up a lot of space inside your engine bay. You don't need it. All this is emission based. So if your state or province doesn't have emissions, you could do this. If it does, maybe don't do this. I also just installed it. So it's like kind of in, it's not fully in the car, obviously. Like this right here is not mounted in. Normally you have like your AC unit right here that amounts to. It, it's a little bit in just to kind of explain what's going on. And basically all you see this, so this pump right here, the hosing, these two solenoids and all the silver uh, hoses, like this one right here, is getting replaced by these two little block off plates. And obviously they don't look like this. I just have green tape around them just so I don't lose the gaskets. But those are gonna be going on the car. Now, again, do this at your own risk and don't do this unless either you're taking the engine out of the car or you're stripping it down to where you're removing the intake manifold and your turbo and up pipe. If you don't do it, you're gonna have a horrible time getting this stuff off, especially because you know your turbo sits right here in your up pipe and getting tools in there is gonna be really difficult, especially if it's still in the car. All of this is gonna be deleted. However, you have to keep your barometric pressure sensor. You have two options. You can keep this unit entirely still in the car or you can cut around this and remove it remove this whole thing and just keep this part right here because really that's all you need you need it because for some reason super decided to tie this in with the solenoid you don't need it so might as well cut it off and save some weight and clean up the engine that's what i'm going to do and i'll show you guys how to do that later but yeah pretty much there's just a couple 12 mils holding that on this runs down a couple more 12 mils i think another 12 just you know a bunch of 12 mils 10 mils i didn't even install everything like this is still loose um, I just threw it on quickly just for you guys to see. So I'm just going to remove all this kind of in the process that you guys would see if it's in your car. Just so you guys kind of get an idea of, you know, what to remove. Basically, again, all of this is going to be removed, clean up space, replace with those because you don't need it. I don't want it. So let's get it out of here. So pretty much everything we are removing is right in front of you. You don't need any of this, so might as well get rid of it. Obviously it was a lot easier for me to remove it since I didn't have it in the car. But this can hopefully help give you an idea of what you're removing. It's gonna be a bolt there, there and there, the two bolts there, two bolts on the back there. Uh, if you need to, you can move those two bolts to help free this up. And then you're gonna disconnect this hose when you're removing it, just cause again, you're in the engine bay, it's gonna be very tight. But again, this is just to kind of demonstrate everything you're gonna be removing, um, especially this big hunk of metal, well, plastic, I guess. <laughs> Let's go ahead and install these plates. So this part of the build is done. And then I'll show you guys the barometric pressure sensor over there. There you guys go. That is the block off plates. 
all installed. I don't know torque specs. I just did hand tight. You know, it ain't gonna come off. I'm not worried about it. Well, there's two, there's two things left to do. Either you throw this unit back in and plug it in, which I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna cut it out. So I'll show you guys how to do that. And another thing is on your harness, there's this connection right here. Uh, I'm gonna cut that off, but I'm gonna do it once the engine's back in the car. What am I doing next? What am I doing? So I'm gonna start working on this, try to get this thing cut off. I think that's the next step. And then we'll get the engine in, and then I'll worry about that harness. Do you have any idea what's going on, babe? Neither do I. So you can pretty much chuck this in the bin. You don't need it. It just takes up room. Uh, this is a missions base. Yes, you mess up those prongs right there, but that's okay. This is all you need. Uh, this is literally it. So if you look, it might be hard to tell, but there's little black studs all around this unit. I'll point them out right here. So right there, 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 and there. The plastic's molded into there, and that's kind of what holds in the sensor. So you kind of have to cut around it. And then I found it difficult to kind of get in there with the Dremel and I am an electric Dremel, but I'm borrowing this battery one from a friend. So it's not doing the best job at cutting. So I pretty much just cut around it. And then these edges right here, I beat out with the, with a flat head. It cracked the plastic popped right up. Don't cut anything around here in the circle. You notice I kind of kept the ring around there. You don't want to damage anything in there, but what I'm going to do now is just kind of clean this up so that we can get it ready to plug back into the system and then forget about it. This is literally all you need. That can go in the bin. This is the finished product. Uh, what I'm going to do is when I install this, I'm going to wrap this, these little prongs right here, not, not those, but those prongs right there, I'm gonna wrap them in electrical tape uh, and then we'll tuck it away. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish up this part of the secondary air pump delete. And basically what it is, is I wanna get rid of this connector. Basically, I'm just gonna snip it down to the end, seal it off electrical tape. And then this ground, I'm pretty sure, is technically only for this. So if we don't need it, might as well get rid of it. I'm also gonna get rid of all this plastic right here. Don't need it because I have a different idea of routing the wiring. I just wanna have everything hit it. I'm gonna kind of go in behind and hopefully it works out to what I want. I might have to extend this. I don't know. If I do, that's fine. Not worried about it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse and I wanna get this all done and I can move on. And there you guys go. 
the uh, cable for the uh, secondary air pump is now gone. I rewrapped it also kind of still has that OEM look. There was like some plastic thing in there. I threw it back in again. Just again, I want that OEM look. So I rerouted my, uh, I rerouted my connections that went to the battery. I uh, just kind of tucked it all in behind. So that would be like my air suspension and my JDM front fog lights. Just try to clean it up just so when the battery's in, you don't really see so much wiring. These two connections right here uh, used to go to the battery. I decided just to stick them there. Uh, if I do get problems in the future, I'll just remove them and put them back to the battery. But I think that should be fine. That This is the ground that used to go to the... Uh, to this connector right here for your secondary air pump that's the ground right there and i pretty much just snipped the wire and taped it all off i also removed the plastic cover there i, I don't really need it you know it, it's it's just going to be kind of here um my end goal kind of is to maybe run the wire in behind the oil cap like in here and in behind here and then you won't see any of the wire up front so you can kind of get a visual something kind of like kind of like this but then my issue is this connector right here, it's going to be a little short. So you can see I might have to extend it or just pull it back a bit, see how much room I got. Uh, I might be able to make it work. We'll see. Or I might just for now, just kind of throw it in, just kind of throw it in like that, how it was intended. For the time being, uh, you could already see though how much room it cleans up right here. So you're not going to have this giant pump here, which is nice. You have more room for activities. Just wanted to show you guys real briefly. This is everything we deleted from the car. Uh, frees up a lot of space, as you could tell. We don't know, we no longer need this stuff if you are gonna do the secondary air pump delete. This right here is optional. You don't have to delete this. I decided to just to get another thing out of the engine bay. The one last thing we gotta do is throw in the barometric pressure sensor. Uh, you need this. Without it, your car's gonna freak out, so just throw it in. Obviously, my uh, manifold's not in the car yet, but pretty much this is the connection right here. Just throw it in and you're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up in electrical tape. I'll probably like wrap it up in like this or something and hide it in the back just so you don't see it. Um, but yeah, other than that, you are done. That is the mod. You are good to go. So all you guys gotta do now is pretty much put the car back together. Uh, obviously I still have a long way to go before I can get my car back together, but I hope this video really helps you guys understand kind of behind the scenes of the uh, secondary air pump delete. And hopefully you guys find it a lot more easier to do by watching this video. I'm trying my best to make it as easy to follow along as possible. So hopefully it worked. Uh, so the last thing you got to do now is hit up your tuner and get them to deactivate the codes. Because as soon as you start your car, you're going to get lots of codes. So go ahead and do that and you guys will be good to go. And on that note, that's the video, guys. <laughs> if you made it to the end, thanks. Please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, take it easy.